Welcome to Pro Upcast News, where we bring you daily industry updates. Today is Monday, November 16th, and you're watching the Afternoon Update with Sarah Fletcher. Today's news is sponsored by Game Plan Financial. Every agent needs a game plan. For more information, please visit www.gameplanfinancial.com. Now for today's headlines. Total retail sales in October jumped 1.4%, the Department of Commerce reports. This is compared with a revised decline of 2.3% in September and is far above estimates of a 0.9% climb, according to economists surveyed by Briefing.com. While this news is slightly encouraging, retail stores were likely hoping sales would slow leading up to Black Friday, the day after Thanksgiving. Either way, hopefully the slowly stabilizing economy will result in higher holiday sales than in 2008. In financial news, slated to unveil its first post-bankruptcy earnings report today, General Motors plans to start repaying its $6.7 billion loan to the U.S. Treasury. While GM was not required to make payments on the loan before it matured in July 2015, better-than-expected vehicle sales will result in payments being made much sooner than anticipated. In fact, as of December 31st, the U.S. automaker will begin making $1 billion quarterly installments on the loan and will start repaying a $1.4 billion loan to Canada at a rate of $200 million per quarter. In economic news, speaking before the Economic Club of New York this morning, Federal Reserve Chairman Ben Bernanke announced that the economic recovery could be meager due to higher than expected levels of unemployment. While financial conditions are significantly better than this time in 2008, Bernanke said, quote, some important headwinds, in particular constrained bank lending and a weak job market, likely will prevent the expansion from being as robust as we would hope, unquote. He also warned that jobs are likely to remain scarce, news that will likely leave Americans cautious about spending money amid the holiday shopping season. I'm Sarah Fletcher, and thanks for watching ProBcast News. For more in-depth news and features, visit producersweb.com.